Because today, China controls the strategic resource of the 21st century, rare earth elements, and the dependency is total. Most people have never heard of rare earth elements, but you use them every day. Rare earths are 17 metallic elements on the periodic table. Names like neodymium, dysprosium, lanthanum, europium, terbium. They have unique magnetic, luminescent, and electrochemical properties, and they're essential for modern technology. Without rare earths, you cannot build smartphones, computers, EVs, wind turbines, solar panels, MRI machines, fiber optics, or advanced weapon systems. F modern militaries cannot function without them, and China controls them. Here's how it happened. Rare earths aren't actually rare. Extraction is difficult and environmentally toxic. In the 1980s and 90s, the U.S. was the world's largest rare earth producer. Mountain Pass Mine in California supplied most of the world's rare earths. Then China entered the market. Chinese mines had lower costs, lax environmental regulations, cheap labor, and the Chinese government subsidized production. By the 2000s, Chinese rare earths were cheaper than American rare earths. Companies couldn't compete. Mountain Pass closed in 2002. By 2010, China controlled 97% of global rare earth production. Today, China mines about 70% of rare earths and processes over 90%. Processing is the key. You can mine rare earth ore. But turning that ore into usable metals requires complex chemical processing, separating the elements, refining them, creating the specific compounds needed for manufacturing. China built that infrastructure. Nobody else did. The US, Europe, Japan, we all became dependent on Chinese rare earth processing. We shut down our domestic capacity because it was cheaper to buy from China. And now we're trapped. Here's what China's monopoly gives them.